Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shelby Moses, and I am a product manager. I am three jobs in one. So I'm a data analyst, I'm a team lead, and a project manager all at the same time. So like I take everything end to end for our company. Um, I start with the data and capturing it and then build applications out of it. I actually work for a payment processing company and so what that kind of means is you know we facilitate the transactions when a purchase is made so you're at a store and you swipe your credit card you know how it says authorizing and then approved at the end on the back end that's what my company is doing we're doing all of that chain of events and that sequence where we process it we talk to the issuer the network and then we bring it back and tell the the store that it's all good to go um, so we process that for our clients we do day to day is we make sure everything's running good we've captured all those transactions for our clients and my company actually reports it back out to our clients so um, we come in we make sure everything's functioning okay and then we actually do the data storytelling about it My day as a product manager is lots and lots of meetings. <laughs> so I could be on a meeting, you know, internally between other product managers, kind of thinking strategy. Um, I could actually be working with my tech teams or by myself, writing queries in our databases, making sure um, the, our logic is working. If we're building a new product, how does the data need to get transformed to be able to tell that story to our merchants? And then even on the, the flip side, I could actually be taking meetings with clients. None of my days ever look the same. So that's actually one of the more exciting parts of my job. <laughs> you know, it's not monotonous. I come in and every day is different. I would say uh, some things that I like is I actually kind of see my work in the real world, you know, being um, in the payments industry. I like to shop a lot before this job. I never thought about, you know, like what happens behind that terminal when we swipe our card. And now I know way too much about it. So we do research. Uh, that's another thing I like about uh, my job is where we can actually help our clients out. So it's not just here are your records for the previous day. You know, we actually do every day provide those meaningful insights where we can transform our data and actually like create trends analytics for them and show them some actionable things to help them out on their side. So um, the things that we build do really enjoy um, and kind of that problem solving of, you know, how does the merchant need to see this data? So whenever I'm writing my queries, I need to keep that in mind. How do you transform it? Is there anything that's not like reliable that I need to take into account to use a different data field? and things like that, um, you know, truly how to transform it to make it meaningful. And then on the flip side, you know, like, how do you optimize that? Once I have it built, how do I make it faster for the merchant? So there's some like cost transformations involved there. What I find challenging about my job is that staying on top of technological advances, because I do have to be technical and business savvy at the same time, so like what we're using now to capture and actually house all of our data, it might not be the same thing in six years. So I need to constantly stay up on that. So I would say that's the most challenging thing is, uh, you know, blocking out the time, maybe spending some of my own personal time, skilling up and, and learning those new things so I can stay ahead. Um, I taught uh, high school math and science. And so I did that in Oklahoma for a few years. And then you and got my master's in data science. So that's how I kind of like broke into this field of data. Um, you know, being science and math teacher, I already liked it. I taught it every day in schools. But then as I was like kind of seeing all the opportunities while I was back in my graduate program, I was like, okay, let's take the leap. Let's do this for a while. Um, and so I had actually met a mentor through my graduate program who worked at my current company. But once I kind of got into it, it was really interesting to me. And so I would think that um, the projects that I worked on in my graduate program, some of them were also financial industry related. So I, I had a little bit of knowledge coming into this, but yeah, like the broad landscape, I would say a piece of advice for that is like, 
don't limit yourself because there's roles out there that you don't even know exist yet <laughs> you know like kind of like within the financial industry itself you know you have investment banking you have consumer banking i mean i work in payments you know what else is out there so don't limit yourself um so if you get into your college courses and you're taking finance you're taking economics just know that there's like tons of roles and tons of opportunities for you out there so don't limit yourself definitely statistics that one is a good one uh, it will provide a lot of those basic math skills and give you that good ground to where you can then go and like continue to build that skill set you know statistics from there you can like branch off into machine learning um, you can branch off into economics you can branch off into biology I, but i could also recommend those soft skills right so don't sleep on those uh, you need to be able to learn the business side of things no matter where you work um, you could be as technical as anyone out there, but you need to be able to learn that business and you need to be able to talk to people. If you're interested in something like theater, choir, um, speech and debate, all of those kind of like soft skills classes where you learn how to talk to people or um, like you just kind of learn that good ground of how to communicate, definitely take those. My job does require a bachelor's degree and it could be open. Uh, you know, you could have your degree in business and still break out into product management. Our technical skills are pretty transferable, pretty learnable. So, you know, when we're looking out for our college graduates to get hired into our space, it could be from business, it could be from computer science, it could be a math degree. Uh, we're looking for some of those basic skills. You know, you've taken your algebra, you've taken your statistics. You, you can kind of talk some of that talk, but you'll learn those across a lot of different degrees. Uh, many of us also have our master's degrees as well. 